Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bunny here, Overtime Athletes. The question I would like to address today deals with the new training that I'm gonna start experimenting with on my own. Um, it's something that I've dabbled in before with some of my training, but I actually wanna go deeper into it. It's something that the Russians used to utilize with their training back in the day. And what I wanna address today is the difference between contrast in complex training. I've got this from you guys before. Some of you guys basically asked me indirectly like, uh, and essentially what these two uh, mean is it's combining a, a strength or a heavy uh, resistance training with some form of a plyometric or speed movement uh, right after. Um, and the difference between the two essentially from what the research or what they you know suggest in the books and in the literature is that contrast you guys can think of is essentially pairing a heavy resistance movement um, usually 85 uh, percent percent of your one rep max or over and what it is is it's pairing it with a uh, you know, a, a, a movement that's biomechanically equivalent to that particular movement. So for instance, um, performing a back squat and then performing a vertical jump or performing a bench press and then performing either a plyo push up or some kind of medicine ball chest pass is utilizing the same movement. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to heighten that nervous system, right? Uh, what they call potentiation, but not to get into that, and then be able to utilize that motor recruitment or that mus those muscle fibers to be able to then produce a higher movement or more explosive movement. Complex training, however, is going to deal with uh, when you're essentially performing something like a back squat, utilizing the same muscle groups that you were using in that back squat, i.e. your posterior chain, your glutes, hamstrings, and then going over and transferring that over to a sprint. Now the difference between the two in rest is contrast is more transitional, meaning once you get done, it's more or less the rest is your transition into that next movement. Where complex is shown to be able to go for a longer rest period to be able to still receive that PAP or post activation potentiation, that heightenedness in your nervous system. And what they've shown obviously in some of the research is it's different for some athletes and there's other variables along with that. But I wanted to decipher between the two because this is important because A, I'm gonna be utilizing uh, some form of contrast and maybe going back and forth between contrast and complex in uh, when it deals with your guys vertical jump training and then obviously some kind of complex when in reference to your guys speed training. So I wanna make sure I can decipher between the two with you guys and I will move forward with trying to see which one's better for you guys um, and how it can support you in becoming a better athlete overall. So I hope that helps. I'm excited to get this started. I'll catch you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.